The final matches of the group stage of the World Cup are when a great deal of hope tends to turn into bitter disappointment. 16 of the 32 teams are going to be on the way home very, very soon. And we've been hearing a great deal from those of you who support France and most of the African teams who have been saying that as far as you're concerned, your side is dead and buried, which is why it was only logical that we paid a visit to Katie's Tombstones in Soweto. So come and meet Florence and Ruzzani who work here at Katie's Tombstones. Hi to the both of you, how are you doing? Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm hi. good. I'm just wondering, have you had any orders for Bafana Bafana? Not yet. Not yet? Yes. Do you think they ought to have a tombstone? I think they ought to. <laughs> <laughs> Why? They disappointed me very much. Because they should have played like they were playing the first half. Second half, they could have, you know, put up the oomph. But they didn't. Okay. They just played one. And Rosani, you're in charge of actually chiseling the inscriptions on the tombstones. Who would yes. you make a tombstone for? Uh, I'd make for the African teams. All of them? Yeah, maybe except Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, why, why are they disappointing you so much? Yeah, like, you know, this is an African World Cup, you know, so we expect maybe a couple of teams to make it into the knockout stages, you know? And I have to tell you, lots of people in Soweto are very disappointed with the African teams. Can you fit all of their disappointments onto one tombstone? Yeah, we can manage 500 words. 500 words, that yes. should cover it. And yes. um, Florence, I suppose one good thing for you is that all the stress of watching football for people here in Soweto mm -hmm. it might get you some extra business. Exactly. I can make a lot of funeral and unveilings. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cynical, Florence. <laughs> That's the part of the business, what I can say. Fair 